Welcome to this How To Free Agent tutorial. Today I'm going to explain how to raise a bill and match a payment. So we are again in our dummy account Sarah's Marketing Magic and Sarah wants to raise a bill on the system and then um, mark it as being paid from a payment that she's paid to the supplier through the bank account. Um, if you haven't already looked at the overview video about the different types of expenses, uh, I would look at that first before you read this, before you watch this one, um, because it just covers um, the different types of expenses that you can have. So uh, Sarah has received a bill from one of her suppliers. So what we're going to do is go into bills. Um, it's actually Q6 car wash that have sent her another bill. Again, this is dummy information. I have no idea why these bills are on these categories. It's just pretend. <laughs> um, but she's received a, a bill from the car wash that's dated on the uh, 5th of the 11th. Um, and it's reference SCO59. Uh, the first thing that I would always recommend is that we just have a, if we just click on the, the name here, it will take us into the supplier account. And again, if we go into bills, we can just double check that SCO59 isn't already on the system, just in case if there's more than one of you, someone else has already put it on the system. That's a really quick way of making sure that, that it's not there already. Uh, so now if we go back into bills, we can add a new bill. Um, we're going to have a quick look and see, as, as I'm sure we've we've just noticed, that Q6 Car Wash is already set up as a contact. If it was from a new uh, supplier, you can just add the contact information here. The reference that we're going to put on, again, I've just got the uh, bill right in front of me, so I have all this information just to type in straight from the bill. The reference is SC059. It's always really important to put um, an invoice number on there if you have, because then you can just tell uh, each of the bills separately from each other. For example, if there's two bills on the same date, you know uh, that you haven't duplicated something if they've got different invoice numbers. Uh, the, the date on the bill is the 5th of November, so I'm going to put that one in. Um, the due on date, this is really key because it will show you when it's overdue on the system. They have a 30-day um payment plan for this uh, supplier so that means that it's actually due and it says on the bill um, on the fourth uh, sorry the 5th of December so we're just going to put the 5th of December then what free agent will do is when it gets to the 6th of December will remind you that, that this is overdue it's in pound sterling and the total value is 2874 um, and it does have that on it so I'm going to change that um, previously, it's been put under accommodation, but as uh, I believe this is sales consultancy, I'm going to put it under consultancy fees and then there's room for a comment. So I can put sales consultancy uh, if this was the purchase of a specific set of uh, four or five different things. You could list the things that you've purchased. You can use this comment to put whatever you want to. Um, at this point, I will then also attach the bill so that if anyone was reviewing this, they would be able to see uh, what it related to and double check that we've got everything on there uh, correctly. Excuse me while I just find a bill. Again, this is not the correct bill. I'm just showing you how to do an attachment um, because this isn't real. <laughs> so we've got all the information, everything's ready to go. Um, we can do create and finish. And we can now should be able to see that here's the bill. And if we go into the list of bills, there it is on the system. And you can see that we've attached a bill to it as well because we've got a little paper clip. It shows that it's overdue uh, and that it's overdue by one day because funnily enough, today is the 6th of December. Um, and we can also see um, any of the other bills that are in the system. Again, this says all bills in the last three months. If we were going to change this to from all time, and if we were going to change it to open or overdue, it will just show us all the ones that we haven't paid yet. And there, there's two of them. Okay, so the next thing that Sarah wants to be able to do is to mark off uh, the payment that she's made to this bill. So imagine we've gone forward in time a few days, uh, you've paid the bill, it's appeared on the bank feed, and you want to be able to match those two things to show it's been paid. So what we would do is we would go into banking and bank accounts and to the account we use to pay. Um, we know that it's in November, so we'll just move to November. And if we scroll down, we should be able to see 
the payment. So Sarah's been very clever. She's put the uh, number of the invoice on the payment. So it's very clear that that's what it was for. So all we have to do is click on the payment. Um, this is where people sometimes get a little bit confused. This is where you just have to get the idea of bills into your head. This is a payment, but it's a bill payment. So what we're going to do is find on the list bill payment. Then what that magically does is lets you access a list of all the bills that are outstanding. So as we've just seen, there's only two. So if we click on here, we'll be able to see both of them. And we just click the correct one. If there is a really long list of bills, you can start typing in the supplier name and it will just pull out the bills for that supplier. If you know the amount, you can type in the amount, it will just pull out that bill. Um, there's lots of ways that you can filter a very long list. So in this case, we're going to select the correct bill. Uh, we don't need to attach anything. The bill is already attached to the system and we can just explain the transaction. If we then wanted to see the bill, um, if we were coming back and we just wanted to check which bill this was for, we can actually have a little quick shortcut, click on view bill and it will show us the bill. One of the things I get asked all the time is why do we bother setting up bills for long term suppliers? Uh, isn't it easier to just attach things to the bank uh, as you go? Doesn't it? Isn't it quicker? Um, and a lot of people don't see the point of doing this. The point of doing this is, is, is really shown very clearly by what's just happened because we haven't paid the right amount for this bill. Because we put the bill on the system to start with um, and we've we've done it from the, the base information, we know that the bill is 2,874. But in this instance, Sarah has accidentally paid 2,847. She swapped the last two numbers around. What this means is we still owe them £27. Because we've put this on the on the system as a bill, that will be obvious. If we go into our overview and we have a look at our bills, it will show that this money is still outstanding. As soon as we log into the system in the morning, if we go into the, the main list of bills, it shows that £27 is still outstanding on this bill. If we had attached this to the um, payment on the bank and we hadn't done it this way, it's very unlikely we would have noticed that there was a difference in the money. Um, the other things that setting bills can help with is if you pay for a bill twice, it's very easy to attach the same bill to two different transactions. If you set them up uh, on a system as bills in this way, it's almost impossible to not notice if you've paid a bill twice. In this instance, we've realized straight away that we've not paid the right amount of money. We can talk to our supplier um, and pay them the extra £27. When that hits the bank, we can match that against this bill and clear the bill. Um, and we won't get any nasty surprises from a supplier an angry letter saying that we haven't cleared all the money that we owe them. If this has been helpful, please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos. And if you need a free agent friendly accountant that's easy to talk to, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.